you got a very, very exciting adventure in front of us today. But for our adventure, we will need a variety of equipment. In front of me, we have a life jacket, a harness, various carabiners for different purposes. We've got thermos, stove, first aid kit, rescue rope, anchor rope, rattling rope, and last of all, safety helmet. Now, why do I know all of this stuff? Because Now we are going to use all of our equipment and training to go on our big, big adventure. Follow me. I am Alana. I was born for foundry deaf, but that sure didn't stop me from trying new adventures. I love exploring the great outdoors, braving new activities, and trying delicious vegetarian foods. Through this program, I am learning more and more about cherishing and protecting our Earth. Now, follow me! Where this one? Into the Kiyo? Kiyo. Okay. Kiyo. Not heavy. This is so light. <laughs> oh, you want to carry the heavy one, right? You went to Taiwan, China, Japan, Canada, Ohio. Uh, Pakistan. Pakistan. Yeah. Pakistan. The small waterfall. Yeah. This one is like 15, I think. 10 to Where's 15. the big one? Big one is around here. Small big one. Yes, yeah, big one around here. The 20 meters. All right, let's go. Otherwise, they need to spend a lot of like, travel fees yeah. to the US. Yeah. So, right, so, so I want to ask before you mention yeah. something about bears. Are there any bears here? No, no bears. No bears. No, no bears. Yeah, but mosquito. Ay, yo. <laughs> mosquito many mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the most dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everyone mosquitoes had a mosquito. Are the most dangerous animals. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all covered today. <laughs> I said your answer is very interesting because you know this that not most people in Taiwan don't do that activity. Either. Yes, all right. Yeah. So I say your answer is very interesting and you grew up in Taiwan. Can yes. you tell me how did you get involved in these extreme kind of activities? Oh, okay. I mean, you're interested in snow and ice climbing. No, that's I, not no, normal no, no, no. in Taiwan. I, I'm interested in, in any adventure outdoors. Yeah. So uh, ice climbing, rock climbing, any kind of, right? Yeah. So for me, I joined an alpine club in university. Oh, okay. So I start hiking, rock climbing, or something like yeah. that, right? After that, I, I think I might like uh, work as a guy yeah. or as an instructor. So I went to Canada to take a training. 
Until I feel the canyon near is really great in Taiwan. 那从学到现在大约两年的左右时间，那获得了这个美国峡谷探险协会的认可，变成是台湾的第一位 Pro Guide。那同时他也呃授权我们在台湾可以做训练，所以也不用像以前这么辛苦要飞美国，或是请美国老师来台湾，像我们台湾就可以做自己的代替训练。Yeah, you know, the most dangerous in Taiwan is not outdoor, it's the policy. So because it's the policy, it's the policy yeah. that makes it hard to Yes, because the policy stops you enjoying the outdoor. Yeah. But compared to the North America or other countries, we always teach people to uh, decide your race, take your own race, and then uh, think about it. Race. Yeah, but it's really different. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting to compare Taiwan compared to other places yeah. in the outdoor activities. Yeah. In Taiwan, they actually say you can't do here. Yeah. In America, they're saying you can, but, but anything that happens you need to take your own race. It's your own race. Yeah. It's not going to be our fault. Yeah. But in Taiwan, it's different. Yes. Well, I want to find out more about why that is. So uh, we will go around here to see the bridge and then we go to the town. Up and to then, the waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall there. So maybe 100 meters more or yeah. 200 meters more, we will arrive at the highest point yeah. and continue the trail. Yeah. So we will go down here and then really? here. All the way up to yeah. here? Yeah. Right in there. Really? We cannot see right now. We will see later. Okay. Wow. Okay, see the waterfall? But we won't see this one? It's very really beautiful. Uh, yeah, but we don't. No, 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 no. Not this one. Not this one. How big is that one? The other one. And that one? Maybe uh, like 20 to 25. That's 25 meters? Yeah, 20 to 25. And we are doing 20? No, no, not this one. But we are doing 20? Yeah, around 20. And that's small. That's your shell. Yeah. I know. It's yours. This is mine. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they different? But the same. So I put the legs. Right, right and left. Okay. I'm wearing a yellow diaper. That, of course, in the beginning, we have many equipment. For example, I wear my head, 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 这个学习，而不是就是土法炼钢，或是呃利用其他的技术应用在不应该出现的地方。Now I'm going to practice. Remember, everything I'm doing is for the left hand, so keep that in mind. From the bottom to the top, yeah. Then flip to the old small one, yes. Like this. And then open that head up. So we loop this, and then we flip. Upside down, yes, that's right. And we switch it over. And then we have to lock it, very important, always lock it. Now you said my legs need to That's be shoulder, shoulder yeah. width. Yeah. Hand behind I the mean, back. Yeah, yes. Your main hand behind the back of your right hand to do the right hand. And then, yeah, just walk. Always very slowly. That's right. And then oh. your feet, your foot, yeah, walk. No jumping, walk very slowly. Okay, now you are on the bottom, so uh, take your rope off. You are on the bottom. Okay. So first we have to unlock Open it. Carapina, yes. And switch. And switch over. And then Lock. take the rope off. And take yes. off. And then connect and to the, it back. the original carabiner. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, that let's wasn't go. Too bad. You go. We're ready to go. Yeah, we are ready to go. Okay. Now we're going to go on the baby waterfall. Oh, we're going down there. Oh. 
Let's go. Slowly, slowly. were really really slippery and for him it was no big deal but for me it was a bit scary because you have the waterfall the water's pouring on your feet there's nothing to hold on to so if you slip you're gonna fall right in it was quite scary but i'm gonna put my trust in the coach mm -hmm. now we're going to a bigger waterfall uh -uh. Okay. Oh, slowly, okay. slowly. Slowly,峡谷探险的英文名叫做Canyoneering 2006年、07年開始這個活動 The thing I'm finding most surprising about this is just how slippery the rocks are so my nickname is Turtle because slow and steady wins the race and I am definitely applying that today I go down really carefully and you can't really see where you're putting your feet so I just try to place my feet really slowly so we put those strips and crash into the wall and as you can see it cleans in a bit so you've got to be really careful. Okay.
cut this. This is the real deal. We are going down parks, waterfalls, streams, rivers, everything, and we're making it up as we go, which is why it's really important if you're going to do this activity, have experts and guides with you because it can be risky. But it's a really fun activity to do, and the views are stunning. Take a look at this.针对初学者第一次在接触这个活动的时候呢 Wow, I'm learning there's a lot of trust involved. You are learning to trust so many things. First of all, you're trusting nature. You're trusting that the tree that your life is on will hold. You're trusting the man-made rope. You are trusting that the rope is going to support you. You are trusting the people and their expertise. And most importantly, you are trusting yourself to be able to do this, to be safe while having fun. Now, on to our next adventure. In西谷里面,最麻烦是夏季的暴雨,因为积水区越广了,在下游所产生的水量是越大的,所以积水文上的判断是需要靠经验。那靠经验的时候其实会比较建议是说可以跟多一点的我们叫做mental 因為我們的時間是很大的時間 one of my favorite snacks happens to be here. So mm -hmm. I would like to introduce you guys to the snack. Yeah. How about That's that? Snack. Well, we're going to find out. Really? Okay. Follow How's us. It go? And this is our special place. This is actually a really interesting mix. I don't know what it's called, but it's a mixture of wraps, ice cream, peanuts, and cilantro. Yeah, wow. Totally and different mix from anything I've had in Taiwan. You want to try it? Yeah. yeah, yeah right, sure. Let's go. Oh, shallow. Yes, okay. We don't, we don't, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey. I just tried doing it and it's a very, very specific, detailed art process. You can't push down too hard, can't do it too lightly either. Without breaking the skin this time. Ah! Okay, and this is my best wrap one. Cheers! Yeah, good. Cheers. I do want to 
point out that the flavor is really interesting because you not only have the cold ice cream, but you also have the texture of the peanuts, which were really, really thin and finely shaven. So you have a cold, dense ice cream. You have peanuts, which is really delicate texture. And then you have this fresh spring of cilantro in it. So the whole thing, you've got this freshness, you've got the cold temperature, and you've got the texture, all of them combined to make a really interesting flavor. So what do you guys think of it so far? Have you had this before? You no, know, it's, it's my first time. Yeah, what yeah. do you think? Um, Honest it's, opinion. No, it's kind of weird, but <laughs> you know, the ice cream and then peanut and then like yeah. a little rub, right? But it's okay. <laughs> maybe I will try this time, maybe. Nice. Yeah, one more time. Maybe. That's why I like it because it's weird and different. started the day in the freezing waters way in the mountain rappling down waterfall and we've ended the day in the relaxing hot springs as you can see here but it wasn't always an adventure learning rap it wasn't always an adventure because learning this required a lot of skill and hard work but fortunately the beauty of today is that we were able to combine hard work learning a serious survival skill with having fun and together we created something that was extremely adventurous and what I loved about this activity today was that it gave me a different perspective a different way to interact with nature when you're walking on the trail on the path as we were in the beginning you're looking at nature these beautiful perspectives of Taiwan from the outside but today was especially unique for me because I was inside the beauty of nature I was inside the water bowl interacting with nature on a much more intimate level and that is what made this adventure so special to me I really appreciate and enjoy adventure especially when you're able to combine two different things to create a new experience a new adventure as you saw, we also did this with food in our episode today. We combined two and three different ingredients and all of them combined together created a really unique flavor that some people thought, hmm, this is weird. But as time went on, they were like, this flavor, these ingredients together create a really unique flavor, which is another form of adventure because Taiwan is a stunning, magical place with gorgeous scenery. In fact, it is so magical that the Portuguese named it Formosa when they came to Taiwan, which as you know, means beautiful island. So it's great to be able to appreciate and enjoy nature despite these policies in place because it is absolutely possible to enjoy outdoors on a much deeper level in a very safe manner. So go out and enjoy the environment, scenery and beauty of Taiwan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>